Hello everyone, welcome back to Wireless Solutions. iOS 18 is finally here, and I am super excited to share with you my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features that come with this amazing app team. By the end of this video, you will learn something new that can really improve how you use your iPhone. Plus, you can share these cool tips with your friends and family. But before that, we will walk you through a comprehensive iOS tips and tricks you must know. Here's what we will cover. Moving apps on your home screen. Customizing app icons. Battery saving tips. Customizing the control center. Exploring the messages app. New flashlight interface. Share your Wi-Fi password with a QR code. Restart your iPhone from the control center. Change the default buttons on your lock screen. Change an app to a widget from the home screen. 5-second camera timer. Pause and continue video recordings. Keep listening to music in camera app. So let us dive right into it. 1. Moving apps on your home screen One of the first great features of iOS 18 is the ability to move your apps anywhere you want on your home screen. This is really easy. Just press and hold on the home screen until you see the app icons start to shake. Then, you can drag any app to a new spot. You can even create empty spaces or skip rows of apps if you want. This means you can set up your home screen however you like, making it more personal and easier to use. 2. Customizing app icons Another exciting change in iOS 18 is how the app icons look. If you long press the home screen and tap edit in the top left corner, you can start customizing your app icons. One of the fun things you can do is to apply dark mode which changes the look of the icons to a darker theme. This can be really nice for your eyes, especially at night. You can even set it to switch automatically based on the time of day, so you don't have to do it yourself. And here's something really cool. iOS 18 lets you choose any color for your app icons. This way, you can give your phone a unique look. You can adjust the color to match your wallpaper perfectly by using an eyedropper tool. If you like a clean and modern look, you can remove the names from your app icons and make them larger. This will give your home screen a sleek appearance. Just remember to keep track of what each app does. But hey, before we proceed, just make sure you don't accidentally open the weather app thinking it is your bank account. So why not hit the like and subscribe button and share this video to your friends? 3. Battery Saving Tip Worried about battery life? Here are a few quick tips. No power mode Turn on low power mode in settings. Battery to extend your battery life when you are running low. This feature reduces background activity and optimizes performance. Background app refresh. Go to settings, general. Background app refresh. To limit which apps can refresh in the background. This saves power. Turning off background refresh for apps you don't use often can significantly help with battery life. Green brightness. Reduce your screen brightness or enable auto brightness in settings. Display and brightness. This can help conserve battery, especially when you are not near a charger. Check battery usage. To see which apps are using the most battery, go to settings, battery. You can identify battery draining apps and decide if you want to limit their usage. Number four, customizing the control center. Now let us move on to customizing the control center. In iOS 18, you can create different pages that you can access by swiping down from the top right of your screen. There are default pages for favorites, music, and connectivity settings. To customize, simply scroll down and add a new page that contains all the controls you want, making it easier to access what you use the most. At number 5, Exploring the Messages app Let us talk about the Messages app iOS 18 introduces a new feature that allows you to add fun effects to your messages. After typing a message, you will see a new icon in the top right corner of the keyboard. By tapping this icon, you can make your text bold, italic, or even add cool animations like shaking or exploding. You can also highlight specific parts of your message to apply these effects, making your conversations more exciting. Another neat feature is emoji reactions. If you want to react to a message, just long press it and choose from various reactions, including emojis. This makes chatting more fun and expressive. Did you know you can schedule messages too? Just click the plus button next to the text box, select send later, and pick the date and time you want your message to be sent. Once scheduled, the message will show a dotted outline with the date you set. 
This is perfect for reminding someone of an important event. Number 6. New Flashlight Interface Now, here's a quick tip. The flashlight feature has a new interface. When you turn on the flashlight, you will see a new menu if your iPhone has Dynamic Island. Just long press the Dynamic Island to adjust the brightness and the width of the beam by swiping. This gives you more control over how bright you want your flashlight to be. 7. Share your Wi-Fi password with a QR code First up, you can now share your Wi-Fi password via a QR code. Just open the new password app in iOS 18. Log it with Face ID, tap on Wi-Fi, select the network you wish to share, and then tap Show Network QR Code. Others can then scan this code with their camera to connect to the network. This is a game changer. It simplifies sharing your Wi-Fi password with multiple people without needing to save their contact information. Unlike the previous method of bringing Apple devices close together, it also allows you to easily share your password with Android users. For iOS 18, you could create a Wi-Fi QR code in the Shortcuts app. I find this method via the Passwords app much more efficient. Number 8. Restart your iPhone from the Control Center With the new Control Center in iOS 18, you can restart your iPhone without pressing any physical buttons. Simply swipe down from the top right corner, press and hold the power button, then slide to power off. This could definitely be more convenient than holding down two buttons at once. To turn your iPhone back on, you still need to hold the physical side button. Number 9. Change the default buttons on your lock screen. As for updates to the lock and home screen, you can now replace the default flashlight and camera buttons with others, like setting an alarm or enabling airplane mode. Alternatively, you can remove the buttons entirely if you often accidentally tap them. To customize, press down on your lock screen, tap Customize, select the lock screen option, tap the minus sign to remove a button, and then tap the plus icon to assign a new function or leave it empty. Number 10. Change an app to a widget from the home screen. You can now convert an app to a widget directly from the home screen. Just press and hold the app. If it has a widget, you will see up to three widget icons next to it. Tap one of those to switch to a widget. And if you want to revert to the app, hold down the widget and select the app icon on the left. 11. 5-second camera timer In the realm of photography, where capturing the perfect moment is often essential, there are several small yet significant updates to the camera features that you might have overlooked in your exploration of the device capabilities. One notable enhancement is the introduction of a new 5-second camera timer option, which effectively fills the gap that existed between the previously available 3-second and 10-second timers, providing a more versatile choice for those looking to take self-timer photos with greater flexibility and convenience. Number 12. Pause and Continue Video Recordings when you are in the process of recording a video and find that you need to pause for a brief moment, whether to gather your thoughts, adjust your surroundings, or simply take a quick break, you now have the convenient option to pause the recording seamlessly. This feature allows you to stop the recording momentarily and then effortlessly resume it later, ensuring that you won't lose any precious footage in the process, allowing for a smoother and more efficient video creation experience. 13. Keep listening to music in camera app. And if you have ever been in the mood to take photos while enjoying music, you'll be pleased to know that with iOS 18, you can listen to music while taking photos and videos simultaneously. You can even have music playing in the background of your video, though the sound quality might not be the best. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoy exploring all these exciting new features in iOS 18. They can make your iPhone experience better and more fun. Please don't forget to share your favorite tips with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.